Hey everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Today we are actually at my parents' house and we've got a couple small trees up there in the hill we're going to take out. Give me just a minute, we'll get set up and I'll show you what we're doing. Bull she is. Uh, running with it. I'm excited. All right, so here's what we've got today. We've got this little tree here, which was a holly tree. And we've got this here, and I don't, we don't really know what those are. But they're both dead. We're not 100% sure what killed them, but we think uh, they have something to do with all the pool chemicals from that neighbor's pool. So, we'll get to set up on the tripod, see if we can get these things down. <laughs> So we got a little load snorted on the back of the truck there. The, the city actually has a place to uh, take limbs here, which is kind of nice. So Dad's going to take off with that load. And then uh, we're going to cut and drag some more down. And I got a ratchet strap to try to make it a little bit easier. Let's see how it turns out. Dad took a load of the thing, so okay. you may call him in a little bit if you don't come.
at the back with the 288,000 mile GMC Sierra. Yep, things got a lot of miles on her. Let's see if we can get another load on them, get them back on the road, keep this project moving. There you go. Check out this wheelbarrow. I can remember using this thing. Oh, playing around with this as a kid. They have had this thing forever. Anyway, we're gonna cut some of the bigger stuff up in here so we can wheel it down. And uh, I'm gonna switch over to that electric saw. So I kind of threw this clip in here to illustrate or demonstrate why I like this saw. And the best way to do it is just listen to the clip. Yes, I love that gas saw. In fact, I'm doing research on larger gas saws for future purchases, but just listen to this. You use the saw, you make a cut, you put it down, you listen to the birds chirp. When it comes to this kind of work, I absolutely am in love with using this thing. Everything you just saw, you just, this battery was on three quarter when we started today, so it just now died on us. We got the other one, and I think, yeah, Dad's pulling up right now. We'll get this truck loaded up, and uh, we'll ride along with him one time, see where we're going with this stuff. All right, so dad's backing up in the truck there. We got just a little bit left off that first tree. There's a couple big sections. We're gonna try to get those in the truck as whole sections so I can take them back to the house. That's good. Or, yep, that's also good. <laughs> okay then. You can see we started on the um, holly tree, working some limbs up. It's got three little trunks on it. They're all leaning a different way. So let's see if we can make that happen. So there's what's left of that uh, little one I was talking about. And this is the holly tree. We've got, you can see it's got three pieces coming off. These two are kind of leaning towards the neighbor's deck, so that might get interesting. But this first one is head the right way, so we'll get that one taken care of first and out of the way. Also, I get the question on how this saw holds up to the elements. Uh, it rained pretty much all day while we were doing these two little trees. 
And the saw didn't give us any problems with that. I didn't take it inside or anything like that. I just left it sitting outside while I was using it off and on. And uh, we'll see how it holds up in the long run with that kind of weather abuse. But uh, so far, so good. And also, I want to point this out. Check this out. My oldest comes out for a little bit. She said she got bored inside with uh, playing with her sister. She wanted to drag a few limbs down the hill. So that's always fun when the little ones come out and help. All right. Now, things are getting ready to get a little interesting. So uh, stay tuned. So we got most of the little brush stuff piled up down there ready for Dad on the next load. Awesome helper came out to help me voluntarily which is pretty sweet so we're gonna do this little feller next now it's got a little lean towards the neighbor's deck but it's also got pretty heavy lean that way so you know fingers crossed and stuff All right, let's see if we can get this thing on the ground. Pretty hard lean this way. We're gonna have to wedge it from this side. So we're gonna go back to the Husqvarna. We're gonna cut this guy out of the way so we can uh, get some good meat on this side. I've got to get this thing to come over a pretty good piece uh, to not fall on the neighbor's deck. But if you watch real close in this clip, uh, with each hit, if you kind of look at the top of the tree, you can see her start to stand up and come over the direction you need to. Now, a couple things happen here. We kind of run out of wedge, and the camera runs out of battery. But I promise you, uh, I noticed that it died. I set it on the charger, and then uh, we do get the tree falling, but things do get a little goofy here towards the end. All right, so the dang thing died on me, but I'm gonna set you up right here, just a touch out of the way. But you can see what I'm having to do. I know, it's ridiculous. Get two wedges and other things people will say, but you know, I'll give you my shipping address and all that fun stuff. See if we can finish her off. 
promise things get a little bit goofy, but calm your keyboards down. I know some of you are getting ready to start screaming in all caps that that's not the way you use a wedge. You gotta drive it the other way, you know, in the direction of the wedge, but I'm not using that chunk of wood as a wedge. I'm simply using it as a chunk of wood to try to drive through that into the wedge I have in. This thing is already over center. It's already leaning the direction it needs to go. It just needs a little bit more to get that forward momentum to fall. So we're pretty daggone close, but you just got to stick around for the next, I don't know, 10 seconds to see if we get it or not. Such a hard time believing that. That's gotta happen. Got it. Let's go now. <laughs> neighbor's deck. Not neighbor's deck. We'll call that successful. I'm gonna put you, the viewer, on the charger real quick. We'll come back after we get this mess cleaned up and see what we're gonna do about these two logs, trying to get those loaded in the truck. All right, so you guys have been on the charger for a little bit. Got you all picked up. Dad's already hauled a couple loads off. I rolled some of the bigger sections of holly down there. You can see them right there. I got one more section of holly I'm gonna roll down. I'm actually gonna hold on to these, take them out to the property, and um, I think when I get my Alaskan mill, that saw is big enough, or these are small enough, however you wanna look at it, I can actually use the Alaska mill on these pieces of holly, and uh, they might be kind of pretty. Might be something fun to play with, something a little bit different anyway. You don't really go to the store or Lowe's or Menards and pick up a plank of holly. Maybe there's a reason for that, but we'll find out in the future. I'm gonna save those two sections too. Same thing, we may mill those up in the future. But uh, we got this stump left to cut down. Here you can see where I made my beautiful, highly not recommended homemade hinges. But you know, it got the job done. It got the last little bit of lift on there that it needed. You guys can make fun of me all you want for that feel free to one thing i want to show you though most of you already know but in case you don't the reason my cuts are so high on this stump and not down here whenever you're trying to steer something somewhere and i am by no means no expert but i can tell you this you see these seams and these stumps if you come low on that stump and you cut a hinge and you try to drive a wedge one way or another it's liable to split that and pop those and you're just going to lose any control that you had so i always if it's uh, multiple trunks like that i always try to stay on the dedicated trunks and then uh, you know try to keep it in the yard and not off the neighbor's deck or not on the neighbor's deck which by the way they were there watching the entire time so that was like a real life youtube comment section whole new experience anyway get these rolled down the hill get that stump popped off see if we can get these in the truck see where that takes us So a passive way that I deal with stumps, uh, and this one's cut pretty low to the ground anyway, but I do a little crisscross pattern with the saw. It just kind of helps it rot down a little bit quicker over the years. We're gonna get a couple of these bigger pieces down the hill and over onto a concrete pad. It's too wet. Uh, that, that hill that we roll these down, uh, I can back up to with the truck and it's about tailgate level and we can roll them right in at some point, but it's just too wet to get the truck out into the grass right now. So we'll have to come back when it dries up to get some of the bigger pieces in, but we do get uh, four good chunks of holly in the back of the truck. And uh, at the very end of this video, I get back to the house and I have a few things I want to talk to you guys about. So be sure to stay tuned for that.
Hope you guys got some laughs out of that video. Um, I definitely laughed quite a bit while I was editing it. It was a little goofy. The techniques weren't probably, you know, up to professional par, but the job got done. So that's good enough for us. We had a good day. Nobody got hurt. Everybody made it home, whatever. And I got help with my parents with as much as they helped me out. Always was a good feeling. This is the Holly we ended up bringing back at the time. I didn't know there was a market for it, but it turns out, doing a little research, there is a little market for Holly. Uh, get on eBay and type in Hollywood Turning Blanks. Now, a market is only good if you can actually sell the product or move the product. I don't know if we'll be able to sell any of that, but I do know I just ordered an Alaskan mill. And without giving too much away for a future video, um, I started selling a little bit of a product on the side to make a little side money so I could order some woodworking tools. And uh, I sold enough that I ordered an Alaskan mill. I'm pretty excited about it. We will be milling one of these up in an upcoming video. I also picked up with a little of that side money a couple new wedges. You guys probably noticed that was a little bit, we were a little, uh, short on wedges and speaking of shorts i picked up this little itty bitty wedge one of the problems with small trees is you don't have enough room for these bigger wedges so i picked up a little one it may come in handy it may not it wasn't that much i also picked up a very cheap farm store special single bit three and a half pound axe and the reason obviously an axe is preferred over a splitting mall to uh, drive wedges is that uh, you know you're kind of the same gap right there so you can get it those last few hits to get it over center That'll help in some upcoming projects. We do have some trees on the property we're gonna take down to kind of thin out what we got going on. So we'll have that coming up. Uh, like I said, I have that new little um, new little venture where I'm trying to sell a little thing on the side coming up in an upcoming video. Of course, more Dirt Perfect videos. A lot of you have asked, when are you gonna work on the YouTube Yacht Project again? Everything we do, everything we do is working towards the YouTube Yacht Project including this. If you're wanting to know how this contributes to the YouTube Yacht Project, well, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, hit the like button. That's just a bonus if you want to do it. And stay tuned to the next video because the next video will go a little bit more in depth about how all of this ties together with the YouTube Yacht Project. If you're not familiar with the YouTube Yacht Project, we're going to try, we're not going to try, we're going to do it. We're going to build a tugboat shaped cabin on the border of our property in the Hoosier National Forest. It's crazy. It's wild. It's going to be good content, if anything. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.